everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i kind of came up with this cute little prom look it's quite a natural look i tried to stick with quite glowy skin um and yeah i'm not a makeup artist but i thought i'd share with you um the kind of style i'd probably go for if i was going to prom again i wish i was going to prom again so yeah I re oh gosh what's happening here let's see how i got this makeup look then please do carry on watching okay so to start with i feel like your skin needs to look great before you start off putting makeup on. Um, I don't really wear much makeup on my prom. Um, but I made sure my skin was quite glowy and quite moisturised before. So I'm going to start with this Dermalogica Redness Relief Essence. I'm actually not too sure what you're supposed to do with this. Um, but I basically just put it into my hand. It kind of looks a bit funny. And I kind of just press it into my skin just to kind of like relieve my skin of any redness and uh, dry areas. I probably wouldn't recommend using an SPF before your prom. Because, um, however, I don't really have any moisturiser at, moisturiser at the minute. So I'm just going to use this Dermalogica SPF as my moisturiser. But don't use SPF because otherwise uh, you might look a bit pale in your pics. But I'm going to use more than I usually would, just to make my skin really moisturised. I'm going to pop on a little bit of eye cream, just to make my concealer kind of sit better under my eyes and hopefully not crease so much. The one I'm using is just the Dermalogica Stress Positive Eye Lift to basically make your skin even more glowy. Um, a really good thing to use would be the Charlotte Tilbury, what's this called, Wonder Glow. Now this is just a little tester pot, however, um, I know Charlotte Tilbury can be quite expensive. So another really good thing you can use is this, or any sort of like drugstore um, strobing cream. Um, this is one from Primark and it's called the Strobing Highlighter Cream in the shade Oyster Pink. I'm pretty sure you can get um, like a bronzy version of this if you would prefer like the undertone um, to be a little bit more bronzy than necessarily pink. Um, but I'm going to use this one purely because this is a prom look and people at school, I mean I'm not saying everyone was like this at school but personally I obviously didn't have that much money when I was at school so... Um, got to go for the affordable, the affordable look. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. Hmm. I am going to use a brush, I think. Am I? Let's see how this goes. My forehead is quite big. And I don't really want to make it look any bigger. Do you know what I mean? This is also looking quite funny at the minute on my skin because I do have tan on it. Um, I would, well, I wouldn't recommend anyone. You can do what you're comfortable doing. However, um, I feel more confident wearing tan. So if you feel more confident wearing tan, then go ahead and, you know, put some fake tan on maybe before you start your makeup um, for prom. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, and also you don't have to have a spray tan. Um, a lot of my friends at school had spray tans for prom. Um, I can't remember if I had... I definitely didn't have a spray tan the first prom I had because I was far too nervous that I was going to turn out orange. Um, so I just did my own and I'm pretty sure that was the first time I ever used um, fake tan. Um, and I actually used the St. Moritz one and it worked fine. Um, my face was quite pale. Uh, I'll try and see if I can find a photo of me at my first prom. But in my second prom, I'm pretty sure I did have a spray tan because I was quite orange. And yeah, I did. I remember going with my friends actually. The next thing is foundation. I feel like a really nice foundation for prom is like a really nice little thing to treat yourself to if you're not going to get your makeup done professionally. Um, I would definitely recommend the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. It is around £30, I think, which is quite expensive, but it lasts a really long time. I mean, I've had this since. January it's now nearly May and it's basically all gone um, I don't even know whether to try and that I basically can't save that there is no saving that now it is all gone 
so I'm gonna have to use something else. Um, another really good foundation if you're needing something on a budget is the L'Oreal True Match. This foundation is great. And this one isn't actually my shade. Um, it's a bit too pink for me, so if I'm looking a little bit of a funny colour, that's why. Um, but if you get it in the right shade, it looks really good. And I'm just using this beauty sponge, which is from um, Superdrug, and I'm just gonna blend it into my skin. So you can see that, I'm sorry I keep touching my hair, it's not sitting how I want it to. Um, you can see the coverage is really nice. Um, it's, I don't know if you can um, see if it's my correct shade or not. So if it's not, I do apologise. You can never get my foundation shades right. So maybe go to like a number seven counter and get your skin match to maybe one of the number seven foundations. I'm pretty sure I had a number seven foundation for my first prom. Concealer, there are so many cheap concealers that are just as good as the high end ones. Um, but today I am going to use this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer and then mix it with my um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I'm not even joking, right? This cost me less than £4, I think. And this is better, I think, is it? Nearly better than the collection one. And this has lasted me, I don't even know how long. But it's lasted me such a long time and it stays on your skin and it's so good. So this concealer is actually a lot darker um, than my concealer, um, the Wet n Wild one. So I'm going to put this just to completely cancel out my dark circles. And then over the top of that, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Concealer. And this is a lot paler. And this is kind of what's going to highlight my under eyes. Okay, so I obviously need to powder where I've put my concealer. Um, I'm going to use the, uh, oh, Imaginations um, Contour Palette. I'm going to use My Girl, even though it's completely crushed, however, we're just going to go with it. And I'm basically going to just focus this around where I put my concealer, so under my eyes. And my nose and my spots and my chin. And I'm going to put a tiny bit around the rest of my face just so it stays on um, the entire of prom night. Um, however, I don't want to powder it too much because I don't want to look cakey and I still want to look glowy. Okay, I'm going to contour now. I'm going to use this little NARS duo. This has the orgasm blush and the... Laguna bronzer. And I'm going to use just a relatively small brush just to kind of contour my cheekbones. If you're on a budget, I mean, you could use the Imagination palette, like, as you, oh god, mine is literally completely ruined. But as you can see, I mean, I enjoy her, her bronzy shades. Can we see that? Does it look good? So moving on to eyes, I'm going to use the um, Decay Primer Potion because I'm pretty sure I use this for my prom look and um, it is really good and it literally keeps your eyeshadow on and you're going to want your makeup to last for a very long time, especially if you're on your year 13 prom and you're going uh, to Moose afterwards. If you don't know what Moose is by the way, um... It's possibly one of the worst nightclubs you'll ever enter. I do my eyeshadow, I'm just going to do my eyebrows. You can do these in whichever way you feel comfortable in. To be honest, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to show you how to do your eyebrows because I'm not very good at doing them. And to be honest, I just use this Bobbi Brown palette that I've used for about two years. And 
eyeshadow, why has it gone dark? I think like an eyeshadow or an eyebrow pencil would look nice if you're going for a more natural look. make sure my eyebrows are set fully into place so I'm going to use the Benefit Gimme Brow this is just a little mini one that I got in a uh, magazine a while back I'm pretty sure and this is just kind of filling all the gaps that I missed and also just to set my eyebrows into place and make sure none of the project that I used is going to move put my face a little bit more and I'm going to use the Benefit Hula Bronzer this was another product that was like majorly um, hyped up when I was um, going for my prom, especially my um, year 11 prom. And I always thought, you know what, why does everyone absolutely love that bronzer? Like what's so special about it? But not being funny, that is good. Oh God. I think I've gone overboard. I think I'm gonna go for like a goldy eye and a nude lip because I'm not being funny. I think that is like the classic prom look, is it? I'm not sure. Let's zoom in. Is that close enough for you? Are we uncomfortable? I'm just gonna set the uh, primer into place with the palette I use for my eyebrows. And I'm just gonna use the cream shade just to make everything kind of like Make sure the, um, what do you call it, the crease colour blends in nicely with my eyelid. I don't know. If you're wanting to treat yourself for your prom and you don't want to get your makeup done, I definitely recommend to buy the Naked palette. Just the Naked one. I feel like this has served me well. I won't lie. I like this one. You can actually use it for like every day or if you're going out or if you're going to a wedding. Um, it's so good. And I'm just going to take the shade Naked. Yeah, which is like a light brown transition shade. A little bit of Buck, which is basically a darker version of the shade I just used. And this is just kind of give more, gonna give more depth to the eye look, if you know what I mean. I mean, am I just talking shit? Probably. Okay, I'm now going to take some concealer and put this in the middle of my eye lid and just blend it in a little bit. Use um, Half Baked, I think, which is this really gold shade and also Sin. I absolutely love that shade, it's great. And I'm gonna literally Press really hard on both of these and mix them together. Wow! I'm going to take Sidecar, which is this one here, and I'm going to put this. Oh! bollocks on the outer part of my eye and into my crease put on my eyelashes and put on some fake ones um i'm gonna not do this on camera because i always get a bit stressed out so um i'll see you in a sec okay so i've popped on some eyelashes i literally just popped a couple um on my outer lash i think that's quite cute if they're a bit wonky i'm really sorry i can't really see very well um, but where I've put the um, eyelash, I'm just going to take this number 7 um, eyeliner. This is like a coal eyeliner. So it's quite creamy. Um, and I'm just going to put a little bit on my tight line at the top. I do apologise if that makes you uncomfortable. And it kind of makes me a little bit uncomfortable. This 
uh, Love It First Blush from Soap and Glory and it's the ones that look like this and this is in the shade Pink Pop Pearl. I'm going to take an angled brush, swirl it round and just pop it on my cheeks. Oh, that's quite a lot. <laughs> and as you can see, it kind of like highlights as well as blushing. Then as for um, my highlight on my brow bone, I'm going to use um, the shade Virgin from the Naked palette. And I'm going to use my finger. Just a little bit because I have quite a lot of shimmer on my eyelids and I don't want to look um, too much like... A drag queen, not that there's anything wrong with that, but personally, that's not the look I'm going for. I'm going to put a little bit of lip gloss on. Um, this lip gloss is absolutely amazing. It's the uh, Max Factor Honey Lacquer Gloss. Now, this is basically like a liquid lipstick, but it's quite natural. But it lasts for ages, I won't lie. And can you see how pigmented that is? And it's so shiny. Okay, so this is the finished look. I quite like it. I won't lie. Do you know what? I do. I like it. Um, I really like the eyelashes, you know? I quite like that I've only stuck them on the very end. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I hope you enjoyed. Um, apologies if I do things that you may not agree with, um, but they work for me. Yeah, I really hope this helped you or gives you some uh, inspiration for like your prom look um, and if you are going to prom have a bloody good time because my year 13 prom was probably one of the best nights of my life. If you'd like to see some more interesting videos coming up then please do subscribe if you like um, and I'll see you next time. Bye!